Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss what how to connect Microsoft SQL Server or database table view synonyms inside Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID. So at here you cannot find uh, any or tab related to database. So at here let's go to tab. At here after go to Eclipse Marketplace. So it's a uh, retrieving. I'm going to install Adio DB Viewer. Now here after let's click on search. At here you can find to DB Viewer SQL Debugger. Now here after you can find this all those things get DB Viewer 6.1. Now here free universal SQL client. Now here after click on install. So at here. Now here after or oh, this is required and here if you want then here you can select this all. So at here or oh, this all those things. Now here after click at here confirm. I'm getting the masses confirm selected feature. So installation cannot be completed as request. So add here this all those things. So we need to click add here confirm. Click on confirm. Now here calculating and here after accept and click on finish. So add here installing software 8% it's a done. I'm getting the masses security warning. So you are installing software that concern contain unsigned contents so if you get this kind of message so click at here install any way so at here 56 percent it's the term at paper term term i think it will take only five seconds to complete so it's done at here now the next step is we need to click on at here restart so here you can see no any database tab here now click on restart now. So it's so uh, restarting the Eclipse ID. Starting Eclipse ID. Now here you can find database tab. So at here let's go to database. Now here you can find new database connection. Click there. And here you can connect with Postgre DB2. Mario here Oracle. So let's select add here SQL Server. Now here after click add here next button. So add here host. So we need to give add here disconnect, connect, and here copy this one and paste at this place. Add your database and schema. So let's log in first. Click on connect. Now here go to database and here item. So going to connect with item database and this all the tables inside there. So let's write at here item. Now here you can use SQL Server authentication, Windows authentication, and anyone. So I'm going to use SQL Server. Now here give the password and user name. Now here click on test connection. So add here. So we need to download this add here on driver. Now click on download. So add here it's a downloading. So when you are using first time you use to download JDBC driver. So I think it's done. Now if you give at your correct or uh, correct information, now here you get the message success. Now click on OK and click on finish. Now here after the next step is so go to SQL Editor, new SQL and here click on none. And here you can find there is two. Tab, it's added now here if you click this 
So I'll tell that just login with MS SQL. Now click here. So I'll tell no any database. Now here after you can use add here. So if you go here you can see add um, this all those things. So if you click add um, so here. Now here after we can write any kind of query at this place. So let's uh, uh, see the record inside add here. HR jobs. So right here, go at this place. Now write. So at here writing. Select. Add here HR. Now from. Now here after let's write at here HR. Now here you can find to all this thing informate informate information schema access now here after place dot so here you can get this all so i think this is the views so inside hr here you can find this is the views now let's uh, select jobs now close by semicolon and here you can find eclipse execute and here new tab this all those things so execute and here so this is the record inside HR jobs. So by using Eclipse ID, we can connect at here Microsoft SQL inside Eclipse. So you should use at here DP Viewer. After that, you can easily do that. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.